Hi my friends, welcome to another video from Master Handyman. Today, in this video, I'm going to talk about um, GE oven. Um, most of the, most of my friends, they ask for help about this. And they were asking me if there is anything wrong with the burners. If it's not working, then what we should do. Uh, as you guys can see over here, I have this GE oven and it looks like this and <clears throat> uh, well the whole reason today this everything is working over here I have no problem with this oven but my video is about how to troubleshoot the oven or the burners if it's not working if it's the big burner if it's the small burner and the oven how to troubleshoot if it's not working so the first thing, so this is how it's going to look like, the drip pan, and and this is one of the burners, so this is how it's sitting over there. Most of the times, even if you turn on the switch, the burner is not turning on. Uh, the reason behind this, uh, first of all, you have to make sure if the breaker the breaker is on for the whole uh, kitchen area for the oven area if it's off then that's that might be one of the reasons that it's, it's not working I mean the whole oven but if if the oven is turning on but only one of the stove burner is not working in that case you might have to um, turn on the um, switch and then wait for a few seconds and see if it's turning on or no. If it's not turning on, then try to um, take out the burner and then wiggle it a little bit and see if it's not sitting in the right spot. And then you can, when you uh, adjust it, sometimes it's sitting back and then uh, it's working. And if it didn't work like that, you have to take the whole burner out and then look over here if it's rusty you have to clean it out a little bit right now this is the uh, new burner that, that I just replaced it over here it's working pretty good there's no problem with this one but uh, you have to check for that one too all the time because if it's not attaching to the wires over here uh, you might have a problem because and, um, the burners start sparkling and uh, it's gonna start smelling like burn uh, wires around the apartment or around the house so you might have to check for that too and then second we're gonna take the drip pan out I have this tester with me the electric tester and it's showing me how to check for the wires if there's electricity going on if it's not then everything is showing in here right now the burner is off as you guys can see I don't get any signal over here it shows that it's, there's no power but if I turn this on now you guys can see I get power so it means that I get power over here the surface kit wire I'm sorry the surface kit wire is working over here so there's no problem with that and if this is working over here then the only thing we pro the problem we have is the burner it check for everything around the burner to see if there's nothing wrong with it and then uh, sometimes um, I have the multimeter with me and I check um, holes and I will see what's going on if there's any problem it's showing over there and um, I will just uh, if there's anything wrong with this I will just throw it away and replace it with a new one but uh, let's say you don't get power over here in the surface cut wire if you don't get power over here then you might have to unscrew this and 
take the take the surface cat wire out from over here and then you pull this up as you guys can see there's only one screw over there once we open that the whole thing is coming out and there's only two wires going and the infinity switch basically it's this two wires that's going behind the board we have the board right here so usually if the burner is working then I have I always check for the surface get wire to see if there is no problem over there if everything is fine and then I will check the wires and the bottom part and then if there's nothing wrong over there we have the screws behind G, uh, behind this oven and then there's I think four or five one two three four or five screws and then we open that and then we have the whole uh, panel we can look behind that and we can see the infinity switches so right now I left that on I'm turning that off if we have the inf uh, bad infinity switch when we, when you open behind the panel you can see that um, this is the knob that I can take it out and there's only two screws over here and behind this there's a uh, infinity switch we call it infinity switch so um, and that's controlling the the burners if anything is wrong with that then uh, when you check behind the panel you will see there's a black spot around it or um, something like smoke coming out from it and you will see um, and then you might have to replace the infinity switch and um, I will I will make another video and then I will replace the whole uh, infinity switch with the surface kit wires together to show you guys how to do all of them together but right now it's just a demo for uh, how to do all these things how to troubleshoot if you guys interested for um, for another video please leave me know in the comments and tell me how um, what is what you guys have problem with it I will show you guys how to fix it but right now in this video that's all I wanted to show you guys um in the next video probably i will replace the infinity switch if i have a bad infinity switch with the surface kit wire together so and all right so this is all i wanted to talk about this about this video and uh, you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching